Yeah. Jennifer, after a couple of years, the dubs are back. Um, another All Ireland title for yourself? Yeah, it's amazing. It's I don't even I can't even put into words how we feel. Um, obviously, the last two years we lost the final in 21, and last year probably shocked getting knocked out by Donegal. So there's definitely been a lot of reflection, and I think the winter months of this year were kind of a tough place for us to be. But there's so many new people came into the group, and we just to think that we're here now and we're successful is amazing. I suppose winning your first All Ireland title was great but after the the last few years the barren spell does this seem special yeah for sure i think to think where we were again and the amount of new people that came in i probably myself and a few of the older girls that have been around might not believe in the group way back when so to think that we have turned the tails and everyone worked so hard and we just knew if we trusted each other and stuck to our game plan that we could be successful today you play Kerry in the first group game of the championship, came so close to them, but I suppose you've learned you learned a lot from that game. Yeah, for sure. That day in Pineal Park they came up to us and probably beat us in our back garden as such. So we wanted to right those wrongs and kind of bring the game to them and I think the first half performance we gave was probably near I don't know, perfection as such. We were just so delighted to get that kind of foothold on the game. Obviously there were wobbles in the second half, but we probably had built up that lead and um, again we just wanted to right the wrongs and we were delighted that we won. Was that something that you wanted to do? Was that start? Yeah, for sure. I think we went after the strong start. We knew if we went to play in the front foot and brought the game to them, that they'd have to kind of eventually come out and come at us as well. So uh, we just backed each other. And again, there's such a great bond within the team and you're playing alongside your best friends that you'd go to war for. So we're delighted. You also have uh, an exciting trip. When are you making the trip down under? I'm going now later this week, actually. So, um, yeah, it'll be a quick turnaround. Obviously, that came up a few months back and everyone was very supportive in me deciding to go. So um, I parked it and then the focus was on this and to think now that we've won and been successful is amazing. So I look forward to that, but I also look forward to the next few days with the girls here and just celebrating. Was this something that you did decide that you wanted to stay with Dublin? Did Brisbane have a problem with that? No, no, not, not at all. Like, they're really supportive and actually the coach was over earlier on the year and probably came to see few games and he knew that we were playing at a high standard here so he was delighted and the girls have been really supportive so uh, yeah that journey will start later in the week but for now I'm going to enjoy the next few days. Well that's it you're in GEA mode at the moment. Yeah, moment. For sure. um, how are preparations for that trip down under have you done anything? I haven't done a huge amount really like they've been really helpful in the sense that this has been my primary focus and I wanted to give this everything um, and throw everything at it and I would be kicking myself if I hadn't done so and we come up, came up short today so that was my focus and I'm delighted that I I kind of had that mindset going into it and um, yeah just so so thrilled Will you be talking to some of the girls or have you talked to you know Lauren has been there before um, you obviously have Sinead um, you know different players that have been down Yeah there. for sure it was great to kind of get a lot of kind of feedback from them and talking to a lot of the Irish girls I think this year there's nearly up to 30 girls yes. playing which is mad to think but again opportunities come up it's getting to play a professional sport so uh, it's something that a lot of girls can't say no to and I've heard that it is um, a bit nicer the weather down there as well so I'm kind of going into there summer so I'll have to get used to fairness we had a lovely day today for I was going to say did today kind of acclimatise yeah, it to us yeah but I'd imagine it's going to be a bit warmer so uh, no we're it'll be very exciting but uh, yeah I just can't wait for tonight to be honest in the next few days with the girls and just reflecting on the year and just back to the year Mick Bohan you know Carla spoke about him what can you say about the man he, I, oh, amazing really to be honest like nearly like a father figure to so many of us like he himself as a collective we went through like last year was tough we weren't sure if people were coming back if he was coming back if manager were coming back and um, I came in as an 18 year old like doing my leaving cert and just and you're still this, so young I know I think this is my sixth year now and he's been there the whole step so I have a lot to thank him for as well and um yeah I think him and again he had so many um great people involved in management in the backroom team that do so much for this group and wanted us to be successful so it's not just him but he is a great person and so like a hero of Dublin GAA exactly well go off and enjoy yourself Thank and you. best to look we'll be looking down to see how you're doing down on the right here take care thanks so much